JJ the CPA here, hope you're doing well. Let's talk about the EIDL grant, the advance. This is the amount that if you applied for the economic injury disaster loan directly with the SBA at sba.gov, there was a period of time that while you were waiting for that loan to process, there was a grant, an advance that was paid. It was $1,000 per employee up to $10,000. I've done a number of videos on this. That no longer is the case if you're applying for the EIDL because that pool of money ran out of money. But if you got that grant, that $1,000 for each employee up to $10,000, that is something you do not pay back. There's no way to pay it back. Now, we know that, as I've talked about it in other videos, that if you got the EIDL advance grant, regardless of the timing, you do have to reduce down your PPP forgiveness by that amount. Now, if that's news to you, I'm putting a link to a video where I talk about that in length. Look in the body of this video. The purpose of this video is to drive home some questions that I had based on a recent video that I posted about PPP forgiveness creating a tax adjustment. So if you're not familiar with that, I'm going to put a link to a playlist talking about the PPP tax effect. But with the EIDL grant, you don't pay it back, you can't pay it back, you got the money. It will reduce down your deductible expenses in 2020, period. You're not going to be able to choose the year of when that adjustment is made. It will be an adjustment on 2020's tax return. What does that mean? It's going to be a reduction of the expenses that you use. Now, I'm not talking about the EIDL, I'm not talking about the loan. I'm just talking about the grant that up to $10,000 amount. That is a reduction of expenses. No matter what you used it on, it's a reduction of your expenses. Another way to look at it is that if your total expenses for the year was $100,000 and you received an EIDL grant of $5,000, yes, you had $100,000 in expenses, but for tax purposes, you'll have 5,000 of those expenses not includable. Stated another way, you'll only be able to deduct $95,000 of your expenses. Now, this is for the self-employed and employers. Anyone that got it will reduce down their expenses by the amount that they got of the grant, the advance. Same thing. Now, if you got the loan the economic injury disaster loan, that has no effect, no tax adjustment in any way, shape, or form because that's a loan. That's money that you're having to pay back. That's why there is no tax adjustment. So just to be clear, if you got a deposit from the SBA, $1,000 up to the $10,000, you got it. It's yours. You don't pay it back. But that dollar amount will yield this adjustment that I just talked to you about. Now, what's the difference between the advance and the grant and the loan? Okay, The advance and the grant are the same thing. They're just terminology. The advance and the grant, exact same thing, 1000 up to 10000 The difference of those items, that one thing that has two different terms, and the loan is that... If you got the EIDL loan, you would have known it because the SBA would have emailed, said, go to this portal. You would have logged in to a portal online. You would have indicated that you wanted to accept the loan and to what dollar amount. They would have then done an identity check with you. They would have done a final approval of it. They would have sent you loan documents. You would have signed those loan documents. You would have resubmitted them and you would have had a separate deposit 
into your bank account for that loan amount. So that's how you would know the difference between the two as it relates, well, did I get in an EIDL advance slash grant? If you never got a loan, you never signed any tax document, I'm sorry, you never, time, you never signed any loan documents and you got that $1,000 up to $10,000, that's your advance. That's that grant, same thing. You will have to make an adjustment for that in 2020. So just wanted to clarify that. Had a couple of questions out of the video that I posted talking about the PPP tax adjustment. So I thought I would put one especially together related to this. All right. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I'd love it if you'd subscribe. And then the difference with my channel is when I'm putting together videos, they're for and intended for you and my clients. So when I'm putting together videos of a CPA that's been practicing for 28 years, currently working with clients, currently working with clients with this and these circumstances, that's the difference in the information you're getting from my channel, from me. It's not, I've read something and then I'm providing it to you. I'm reading something, digesting it, interpreting it, implementing it with my own clients and sharing that information with you. Two things to note, check out my community page and my story. Those are two things that I don't make any money off of. And the reason I'm mentioning that to you is yes, by you viewing this video, I made a tenth of a penny and I really do appreciate that. And I don't say that sarcastically. But when there's news that has come out that doesn't really warrant a video where other YouTubers may put out videos about headlines that really don't have any substance to it or they're something that sounds sensational and there's really nothing to it or it sounds sensational but it really doesn't apply most likely to those that would be a small business owner. I'm putting that information on my story and on my community page on YouTube to give you a full sense of information. So be checking that out because as things come out related to stimulus negotiations that don't really necessarily warrant a video, check that out. There's a few things that have come out related to the IRS with some deadline stuff. I've put it in that. So you can go to the community page, which if you go to the main page of my YouTube channel, you'll see the community pop down. Uh, drop menu. Be sure to check out my videos. Look at my playlists. I have a number of playlists related to PPP, PPP forgiveness, also specifically for the self-employed, PPP2, PPP being taxed, the EIDL, as well as tax planning, starting a business, Main Street lending program, et cetera, et cetera. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll ask one more time. I'd love it if you'd subscribe because there's going to be a lot of stuff getting ready to happen related to the next stimulus package, year-end, a number of additional outlay of information, I'm assuming, coming from the IRS, et cetera. All right, hey, don't you ever forget, you've never met a CPA quite like me. Have a great day. I appreciate you.